fire in East Cleveland that started late last night continues on this morning. We have a live report now from reporter Taffy Phillips, who is standing, no doubt, shivering out there somewhere in the cold this morning. Taffy? Joel, it is very cold out here. Uh, this fire was burning, started burning about, uh, as I understand, about 6 uh, yesterday afternoon. Uh, the firemen arrived on the scene about 8 or 9. They've been here all night battling this place. It is in two abandoned apartment buildings. They finally have got this under control, but the two apartment buildings are a total loss. Standing here with Chief Callister from the East Cleveland Fire Department. Chief, uh, what were the problems with this building? Oh, total involvement. It's been torched three times previously that we know of. Uh, we put it out twice. It's wide open. Vandals get in. Got it started. It was coming through the roof when they got here. And it, uh, when it's coming through the roof, it blows the roof. It's a little tough to put out of the line. So they did a good job. It was just uh, frozen lines, frozen people. And that's all we can really say about it. Your men have been here all night out here in the cold. Yeah, most of them have been here from around 10, 10.30 on. And what is it now, 8.30, 9 o'clock? I don't know, yeah. And they've been here all night long, yeah. Okay, thank you very much, Chief Callister. That's it, Joel. As okay, you can Tappy. see, it's like an ice palace out here. The frozen water all over the buildings and a lot of frozen cold firemen. Taffy Phillips live with one of the action cams out on Euclid Avenue, Page Avenue, actually, off Euclid in East Cleveland. Okay, this is no morning to be fighting a fire or doing anything else outside. And the rest of the day is going to be pretty much the same. The high will just be 10 or 12 degrees today. That's the news now. And our morning exchange anniversary show continues. <laughs> I see uh, Bill Baker, Dr. Baker, and I both left just a few weeks ago. And uh, I have to ask you this because it, uh, you know, it just crossed my mind. Uh, after we leave, now we find that you, you buy uh, the station. And I, so I have to ask, do you, did you think that WKYC was too small for, for both of us? <laughs> Alan, let me tell you something. You're one of the top pros in the business, and uh, anytime you want to come back, if I... Good Lord willing, we go through the FCC and so on. Yeah. Uh, you got it. Would you please remove that from the tape? Would you ta we'll dub that off the tape and get that uh, a, a transcript of that? We'll get a, a signature of that. We might need you. What would you say, Don? I was going to say that you can go back providing you can do play-by-play -play hockey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was... January the 14th, 1972. Alan Douglas. And we did, and, and we, I say we, the tape was dubbed. And that's yeah, how we that's how we happen. happen to have it. We don't archive very many things around here, but when Alan Douglas said, dub that off and save it, Bill Baker said, yes, sir. Yeah, and everybody did off and what saved Alan it, said. And that's how we happen to have it. And Notice the old material on the sofa? Was yeah. The same table. The same table. The same lousy plant. <laughs> <laughs> it was. Play that back. The only thing that changed is Alan's name isn't yeah, on the morning. That's right. Changing. The Rio rug was there. We do have new fabric here. Yeah, we have new fabric. As of, what, about two weeks ago? Yeah. <laughs> but that was, that, that was uh, the second week of the program. That's the earliest uh, piece of video we have from the show. And uh, let's go to another one now. I, I wonder if, how many of you recall this particular event that's uh, about to. And this, is, this was in my first year. I, this was in December of 72. I'm sorry your wife couldn't be here today, but uh, she had other activities, didn't she? she? Just as she said in that film a year well, ago, she's going to continue with all of her activities that she's been into all this time. Yes, let me tell you, um, outside of her home, Mrs. Perk's first love is bowling. And the other week, we were invited to the White House on a Wednesday night. That's her bowling night. Uh -huh. And she said, well, I'm sorry, I can't go. And I said, why not? And she says, well, it's my bowling night. And I said, well, the president... <laughs> The president may not understand that, you know. <laughs> but she says, well, tell him to invite us some other day. <laughs> so I told the president, and he said, where's Mrs. Perk? I said, well, this is her bowling night. You invited us on the wrong night. <laughs> what is He's no. laughing on the outside, but no. crying that, on the that, <laughs> Listen, that made big nationwide oh, you headlines. You bet, it did. That, that was as big as catching his hair on fire. That's right. <laughs> and he was, he, was, uh, he was just a wonderful guy to have on. He was with us regularly over all of that period of time until he left office and still comes in every once in a mm -hmm. while. Mm -hmm. And we always had a lot of fun with him. It was always an easy fellow to talk to and to be with. Well, you could kid Ralph, Perk, you know, about himself, and oh, he would right. never get upset yeah. about it. Yeah, he has things in pretty good perspective. 
You, did you notice your hair? Oh, gosh. That was the most important thing that I remember about the early days of the show, was Bill Baker always yelling at me about my hair. Uh, first of all, when I came on, I had this, you know, this white, white, walls. This white side wall haircut, you know, that we always used to have. And he thought I looked so icky and square that he demanded that I grow hair. And I always hated to have long hair, but I did it. And every morning he'd yell it. He'd call at home when he'd get up out of bed in the morning. Even if he was sleeping in, he'd call in and say, fix Fred's hair, even if, even even if, even if there was nothing the wrong. Yeah, even before set. he looked at it. <laughs> and speaking of hair, we're going to show you another piece here. Uh, we dug this up out of the file the other day, and I wonder how many of you remember this. This was from 1973. It was one of the early promotions that was made for this program. We'll take a look at it. Each day is a new world. Okay, now I counted the seconds. Both of you had more seconds on the air than I did. <laughs> Things have not changed. That, that, was, the, that was the raw material. Uh, those, were, those were just put on that tape and stored, and there were mm -hmm. pauses there. But, uh, gosh, I can't believe I, I was fat in those days. I weighed 185 pounds. Mm -hmm. I, had I had those long burns. Yeah. And oh, had, yeah, and your and hair black was hair. black. Yeah. Gosh. Geez. I don't touch mine up, Fred. <laughs> well, you're just jealous. <laughs> and... and in the early days of the show, uh, we uh, Bill Baker was very much uh, star-oriented. Uh, he always would uh, go to any length to get uh, in touch with uh, some important person who happened to be in town. And we're going to see just a little montage of uh, a few of those people who were with us in the first year of our show. This is from a promotion piece that Bill Baker made um, about 1973, I think it was. Mm -hmm. And, we, and you remember, we always, Bill Baker loved home movies. Yes, he did. And he loved to get the Kodak in his hands. And uh, he would take us out to all kinds of places and just make pictures of us. And then he'd bring it back and edit it himself. And it was done in home movie style. He didn't pay any attention to, to uh, proper editing, proper editing well, techniques. Didn't know the right way to do it. No. <laughs> it actually worked out pretty good. <laughs> That's, That's right. True, you know. And they look like anybody's home movies. And we did that all the time in the early days. We were always going someplace. And this was what we referred to earlier. This little piece of film that you're about to see here this is from uh, 1973, July the 7th, 1973. Oh, I know it what It was a little bike is. thing we did. We're going to oh, take a look at it right now. That's why I passed out. There we are. Oh, yes, this is this where you got so sick. Look, 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 Joel's already sick, and yeah. we haven't even started the bike a yet. Oh, you should see when I got done. And we'll, let's see if we can find Dennis Kucinich was there. There's yeah, Dennis. There There's Dennis. We had uh, breakfast at our house. Dennis came, and that's when uh, we made, I made the eggs. That's Benedict. me in my skinny days. And no, I was, fat. Bill Baker rented a $300 bicycle for me, and I wiped it out. And that's broke right. the crystal and on broke, my new watch. Broke your brand new watch. Yeah. There's Dennis. There's Dennis again. Well, he looked young. I remember it was a real hot August. Oh, oh you don't have pictures were... of me lying on the ground. No, uh, those, those were just the outtakes. outtakes. The, good, the, the part that we used on the air was thrown away. I remember away. I decided I had to finish, you know, for the sake of the program. Uh huh. And then yeah. I thought you were oh. going to perish. And Jean Marie Jean Baker was a nurse. Thank goodness yeah. she really administered to him to save his life. You were hotter oh, than the yeah. fox. We touched you and it just sizzled. You know, you uh, you must have spiked about 105. <laughs> <laughs> internal so. temperature it's really was something. up to 200. And we did all kinds of those things. We went just about everywhere. The three of us we have stories we could tell. Why don't we do that? Why don't we go make a movie someplace? You know, right. One of those funny kind of movies oh. like they show at some of these In studios. the basement? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's take a break. That's yes, what we let's better do. do. Let's take a break. We'll be right back. The MX goes X. <laughs> <laughs>